Hi folks and welcome to the continuation of this review. The previous one was after 60 days, this one is after 90 days. So this is my review about this computer, the ASUS ProArt Studio Book uh, 16 OLED. It's a nice system, a long name by the way. So after all, let me go right ahead to the point. Okay, my score is 8.5 out of 10. Okay, so it's a good score. It's not a perfect 10, get, getting a perfect 10. I think it's quite difficult, but I hope to to show you know to let you know why it's not a perfect 10, why it's not a 9 or a 9.5. I have received results to a small issue. Okay, in the previous video, I talked about some negative points that I have, some negative issues that I have with the computer. That is the smallest stuff, but there is a big, big issue. Again, you have to be careful about that. So before continuing, I just want to remind you that these were my specifications, okay? I wanted a new computer, okay? Because I wanted to do a creative work, video editing and so on. And this requires some good GPU and so on. Also, I do a lot of CAD and solid modeling, so I need a good video card. Then I wanted, I really, really wanted, and I really needed a touch screen. Okay, and that is not entirely related to the creative work, but for some specifications, I needed a touch screen and finding a computer within these specific specifications that we're going to see. It's not easy, or probably that will increase a lot the, the price tag. Also, I do heavy, heavy uh, workflow, heavy workload, computing load load so i was looking for something to do aa aa and nl and all artificial intelligence machine learning and also crunching numbers solving numerical systems i do numerical simulations and so on so that is quite heavy i know i have my computer my desktop computer was 128 but i need a computer just to the one on the go when i move it just to do something small but also important i needed a modest uh, weight to four factor rate. I say models, not a perfect one, but again, it's difficult to have the perfect weight to four factor rate. So the weight, it has to be light. I don't want to go back to the 17 inches computer that it was super heavy. Okay, I want something lighter, but a good four factor, something about 16 inches. inches, And that what I was targeting, 16 inches, not anymore. I don't want 17 inches. Also 15 inches probably will be too small to pack all the specifications, every, everything I wanted. But also I took it into consideration, but in the end, I think it depends four factor is 16 inch, inches. Okay, so I would like to do this review, okay? I would like to go fast in using this technical specification and cover each of the point that also we covered in the previous videos, okay? But before doing that, Let's compare with other computers. Okay, comparing with other computers. So here we have no web page, we have no Razor. Fantastic computers, at least for from the technical specifications, within the same stuff that I was looking looking for. By the way, finally I have the the opportunity to put my hands on this computer about three or four weeks ago. Fantastic. Okay. Very good quality, high quality, but pretty much the same as the Asus Pro Art. Okay. So I really like it, but it's pretty much the same. The chassis is uh, aluminum. Okay. Technical specifications and so on. It doesn't have the, the touch screen that for me is important, but as you see that the price tag is quite high, even if you change to the 4070 video card that we're going to talk about that. It grows a lot also, increase a lot also. Look at that 16 uh, gigs of memories. You go to 32, which is the, this is will be kind of the default specification for the ASUS. See that it goes, now increase a lot. Then we also, we have the Legion, the only Lenovo Legion. There are many brands that you have in Lenovo, but I think the Legion are the ones that are closer to to the Asus Pro R. So you can go from the lowest spectrum to the highest spectrum. So the lowest spectrum, you see, you start to see that the processor is not the same. So probably you save money, but it's a little far, far from the state of the art now when it comes to the Intel processor. So this is the closest one, just to point out again, that doesn't have touch screen, okay? And then we go to the Dell, Dell fantastic computer. My previous system was a Dell, okay, super heavy. Okay, that's why I don't want to use it again. Okay, but it, they are really good. Also, when it comes to upgradability, fantastic, quite easy to upgrade. Okay, but uh, also what I don't like, it is a 
too much plastic involved okay the other two even the lenovo so i think lenovo is carbon fiber and so on, stuff like that very nice aesthetically speaking this one is too much plastic okay so i don't want to go back to a lenovo but you have alienware and xps system which are fantastic and then you have the g g15 g17 that are similar to to the one that we're looking okay but as you see the price tag gets familiar so at this point it will be up to you to pick up assistant here and giving you a few a few options okay so let's talk about the asus pro r before going into details no uh, with the review about the price and the auction but it's the best auction so here you go to the website i am in the, in the in the european market and you have to be very careful and this will be my best advice so for the time of this recording uh there, there were there used to be two systems the 4070 and the 4060 it seems that the 4060 they discontinued that or they're not selling that anymore and by and that was the system that i bought okay and honestly don't go for that system okay go for the 4070 okay there is a difference in the price tag the 4060 used to be uh 2700 as I would recall then the 4070 now it's almost 3000 or 3000 but it used to be 3200 and that was the reason why I didn't buy it, it was this gap of 400 or five, five, four, 400 euros and I say let's save that money but didn't worth no, the investment saving the money just to let you know why the first reason that the 4070 comes with a stylus and backpack include so there you have 100 years okay then also you have the difference between the video card the 4070 and the 4060 so there should be a, a difference there they do have the same memory amount of memory but i think from the technological point of view there should be a, a, a difference there so probably 100 euros i don't know if you compare with with, with the razor if i change here for instance uh, i think i have the option to change it here here you see that it is a 300 price tag okay that change from one to the other okay this okay probably here when you move to the other they increase the memory and so on but you see that it's 300 is it's some money okay it's, it, it is money so go for 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 that one there should be some different and also the most important one it comes to upgradability yeah i will talk about that later but the 4070 this one it comes with one memory run memory stick of 32 and you can expand it to 64 so you just need to buy a second one you have a slot a free slot when it comes to the other system the one that above okay and honestly i didn't do do daily diligence okay i, I completely missed that otherwise i would have buffed the, the system it comes with two sticks of 16 so it's unique to upgrade you need to pay you need to buy two memory sticks of 32 and each one it will cost like 120 130 so there you go you have between the the stylus so and the other stuff the memory there you go you have like four 400 years 300 years okay so my advice go and buy the 4060 so far now in this website they don't uh, they are not they are not <clears throat> showing that system anymore but it's my for any reason you still sell that that the, the 4060 go for the 40 70. okay so let's go back to this technical specification we address we already addressed all this stuff in the previous video we'll try to go a little bit faster here because i think you should go to the most interesting part which is talking about the processor because for me this was the reason that i i almost returned this computer okay nothing was working then i have things working so it's for you, you know that it is important that heavy computational load. Be careful that it might give you problems, and you just can you can skip this part and go to the part where I am rant, ranting about this processor. But in any case, we already talked about the video card. It's a good video card, but please go for the forty seventy. Uh, here we have some specifications. Now this max switch is something that it would switch the dedica dedicated and the discrete the discrete video card automatically so it's a nice feature nothing fancy then when it comes to to cooling okay it's very good the cooling i have to say also i have to add and to stress this one that is very very noisy the computer when you are running you now with all the processors and so on doing heavy load okay it's quite it's quite noise also consumes a lot of energy it comes with a 
it's not so big the power brick okay you can i think i have a photo there but yeah it is a little bit uh big consumes power but you know what what you are getting with this processor okay it's a powerful processor so you know that when it comes to to energy consumption but also noise level of the fans and how hot it gets you know that gets hot also upgradeability is fantastic okay you can upgrade the system up to 64 okay in my case remember i got the system 4060 and i have to buy 232 so i pay more okay so go for the 4060 again just to stress that but it's very easy to upgrade so also i would talk about that is it's not so easy to open the computer and that is a negative issue a negative point that i gave okay it's not so easy but you can open you don't need to be you know an, an a, a, expert to open that but you need to have the right tools then also hard drive storage is quite easy to upgrade also and you can it comes with with two 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 slots and one free the other occupy with one tera and then i in my case i added a second one of four terabytes okay and honestly i was stupid because when i bought that 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 extra ssd storage it was in a promotion and i didn't get the second one so in your case it's, you got a good promotion get buzzes then okay it really works okay and i think amazon prime days in it is in this day so maybe there will be some promotion for memory and also the storage that in the video link also I gave, you know, uh, I'm putting there the link, what, what the, the I buy. Uh, when it comes to this system, I already mentioned that uh, material is, is aesthetically is beautiful. Okay, it's aluminum magnesium and it comes with this bonus of this Asus antimicrobial technology, whatever that means, goes to, go to the website and see what, what, it, what it does. But yeah, it comes with that. Then also connectivity. Okay, it's perfect connectivity. It has a lot of ports, so you are not going to have problems you have it there uh then it comes with a microphone a very nice microphone that it will is for uh, an array of four microphones if i if i'm right well you have it here with all this ai technology and so on by the way i'm not recording with the microphone this video but it's a decent one and also it comes with a decent camera so when it comes to to this audio and video. I don't buy a computer because of that, okay? There is some people that want the, the best quality that like with fonts and so on. So I don't buy it with that, but what you have is quite decent, it's good, okay? You have Windows Hello, which I think is quite cool, okay? And then you have this Asus dial, okay? And if you go in the internet and all the reviews, you will see that everybody's talking about the Asus uh, dial, and that is part, a lot of curiosity in my side okay i knew that that wasn't that fantastic and i have to say you don't buy the computer because of that dial that dial is useless unless okay you use it for the applications where it works okay or that is all these productivity applications and so on so i was thinking that maybe it will work with cat software because i do a lot of cat and actually it doesn't support CAT software. So I was thinking about doing the orbital rotation and that stuff, but it doesn't support. However, I managed to hack it and I managed now to, to link it with a specific CAT software on shape. Okay, so there was some a lot of uh, JavaScript involved. It works, okay, but it's not something fantastic. Okay, but I hope that Asus will add, I think, uh, support to CAT software, okay? Then when it comes to the keyboard, it is a fantastic keyboard, okay? I really like it, and I love even more that they didn't add those RGB lighting. I hate that. So all the other computers that I should compare, they all of them have RGB. This is monochromatic, white, fantastic. My main critic is that they added the keypad and that keypad in this four factor now 16 inches the keys are a little bit you no know, too close and you will feel you now the first time that you start to type and if you are used to another keyboard you will feel like okay there is something strange okay but it's not a big deal okay and just mentioned that that because in my previous review i talk about that and some other reviews they talk about that nevertheless a fantastic keyboard okay there is no flex in the cover nothing it doesn't get hot by the way because no uh below that you have all the processor everything it doesn't get hot 
okay, which is fantastic. Uh, then the hinge, I love this hinge, okay, it's not 180 like you see there, okay, and probably in the photo in the, in the screen, probably it's 170, but it's fantastic now, so as you are drawing or write, writing in the screen, this is it's really good. Talking about also the touchpad, you have a touchpad with a stylus support, so pretty much I have to say that that stylus support is kind of, is a good added value, but you don't need it, you already have the screen now that is touch, touch screen, so you can do there, but yeah, you can use your stylus out of the wall, out of the, out of the box will work, which is good. Okay. Then you have the haptic touchpad, which is really nice feature. And honestly, in Windows now, you 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 can control that. I didn't know that, and you will feel the difference with haptic or no haptic. Or also, you can increase the level, but it's quite fantastic. Okay, it's really nice. All in all, very nice touchpad that has the same aspect ratio as the screen. Okay, it's not like it will be smaller, and then you will be outside of the screen. It has the same aspect ratio. A nice addition would have been probably adding the key pack in the touchpad. You see there are some Asus computers that they added there. So instead of putting this support to the stylus, adding the touch, the, the, the key pack there, illuminated, and then you save the space in the keyboard. So probably they will do it in the future. The same suggestion that like the material is this is, is aluminum, magnesium, aluminum, black, very nice black, whatever, but probably they can add some colors like many computers now, they, they come in colors. When it comes to the audio, I have, I'm not an expert in audio, but I can criticize the audio. It's not fantastic. No, the speakers, the sound is a little bit metallic. The position is weird. It is in the front. So the speakers are below your hands when you put it in your chassis of the computer and you feel those vibration already tested and compared with another computer as Susan, you still feel feel that i thought probably was my mistake when i was opening previously but no you still you still have it there so probably it's a little bit weird but you get used then you have all these options they do mean something for you like harman cardon whatever but it, it but it's decent but i have to say it's not perfect if i compare with for instance with my microsoft or facebook 3 that, that one, even it's a small computer, the audio quality comparison is, is day, and, day and night. Okay, it's fantastic there. And then we move to probably the second most important hardware part of the computer, which is the screen. You are looking at that 100% of the time. The screen is fantastic, I have to say. I think it's better than in real life. Okay, it is the resolution, the quality, and super happy. It is touch screen, what I was looking for. You have this resolution. Also, the refresh rate is up to 120 hertz. Is that means something for you. It's an OLED screen, so you know that when it comes to OLED, it, that would increase the price tag. So if you compare with the other, the other computers, I think all of them, they, they use the, another technology. They don't use the OLED. That probably is the best one. I don't know. So it's up to you. But it's a fantastic screen, as I say. I think it's... it's it's better than that than in real life. So now let's move to the most important part, the elephant in the room, the Intel Core processor. So this is the state of the art, the latest processor. This is hybrid technology. So they have performance and efficiency cores. Okay, so I was really curious about that. Uh, here I, I did due diligence and I was checking, okay, that maybe I will have some problems. So in the next part, I'm going to talk about the, this processor. Okay, but before doing that, let me talk about upgradability. So let's address now upgradability. But before you try to open the, 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 the computer, please get a toolkit to open with the tools, necessary tools. So there are not very fancy tools, but I recommend you to use this kit, the iFixit kit. You will need it. So to open the computer, you have 10 screws. There are Torx, Torx T5. So that's what you need. So this is a negative note now that you need to, to have these tools. There are some other computers that they have the standard Phillips screw, but doesn't matter. You have 10, okay, be careful, put it in order because they are all different size. Also, after you remove all these screws to open it, you can use this tool that comes with this kit here and you can apply some lever in the back of the computer here. You have the bands. There are plenty of bands, by the way, so you take this one and you try to open it there. 
in my case, the first time it was very intuitive. Okay, I will open it there. I apply some force but I couldn't help it. I tried it, probably didn't try it too hard, and I, I don't know. I couldn't help it, so I decided to get access in the front part. So to get access there, I use this tool there. So you have to really be very careful not to scratch the surface. I scratch it a little bit, not that much, but I managed to open it here in this corner, and then very slowly, I just open the computer. Then after I open it the first time, open it here in the back part, in the vent, it was quite easy. I guess there is a lot of glue, so when, when I opened, I realized that there were a lot of glue residues here. But if you're going to do it for the first time, try it hard, I know. Don't be afraid or just be careful, but I think it should open. So in the video description, you have the link now to another video, but they, they, show, you, they show you that. In my case, I, I have to gain access here in the front part. But as soon as you open it, and just showing you the two tools that I used to open it and remember to keep in order everything there. You get access. And the first thing that I just to mention is the everything. It is an aluminum, even the bottom part that is no plastic, just a small, you know, touch of plastic here and there, but it is fantastic, the material quality. And this is what you have in your system. Very important when you open also before touching anything, the first thing that I advise you to do is just to disconnect the battery, please. Disconnect it. So here I disconnect it. It's not that difficult, but just pull it and be careful there. And what you have here is the original SSD storage. This is the one I added. So originally this is empty and this is the original memory. I have here 16, uh, each one is 1632, the original configuration. As I mentioned, go for the 4070 that you have one stick of 32 and the other is empty. So in this case, I upgrade it to 64. And to upgrade it to 64, I had to replace, oops, I had to replace bosses then. So each one was like 120, 140. So yeah, you spend some money. So we have closed the Amazon days, Amazon Prime days. So if you find a good promotion, just you can get a good. In any case, in the video description, you have there what I installed the same with the SSD storage that we see here. So I use the Kingston Fury. So after you remove the memory, you just install, put it there. It's quite easy, but as usual, use some, some caution, be careful. And this is a crucial that I installed here for terabyte. Also, I recall that I was really, really stupid not to get two of these. When I bought this one, I got a very good promotion. It was like 120 or 110 euros, which is a very good price for four Terra. So I hope in the Amazon days, Prime days, we will get something similar. So this is the original stick. I didn't change this one, but well, I'm looking to change that one. It's not that big of a deal. And pretty much everything when you open your computer, everything that you have there can be replaced, repaired, or, 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 or graded. Let me so show you something about the dial now. So let me click here. And for instance, in this case, I configure my dial again, and I can go this option. And pretty much you can scroll. Probably you hear there the clicking or the noise that is dial now and just using it. Let me see. Probably you hear, probably not, but there you go. So. Pretty much this is one of the situations that you can use it. I don't know if it would be useful for you. Then you can control many things, brightness and so on, volume. So that can be key, uh, configured. So this is one of the few uh, situations where you can use the dial or unless you are using those productivity or creator applications like Adobe and so on that you can use it and control that. You can, it, it can speed up your workflow. but just to stress this, and I criticize that as some other reviews that they, oh, the dial, dial, the dial pretty much is useless if you don't use it for those specific applications. So I mentioned that I, I, I hack it to, to use it with a CAD application on shape, a lot of JavaScript involved. Maybe I will prepare a video about that, but I think the best way is that uh, ASUS, that they should provide support for that just to have, for instance, to have that orbital uh, rotation and some nice stuff like that. When it comes to the ASUS, you no know, specific application, you have this one. Okay, so this is the, you have you no know, customization tools on links there and so on. So it's very handy, important this one, the customization that you can customize your system. So you have battery care, the mock switch that I talk here, you, you can 
just always use this discrete GPU or you can have the hybrid system that it would switch automatically if you're in battery or no. When it comes to the microphone audio, also you have all these AI noise cancelling options. You have many options there. Also the speakers, so very helpful. They, and they do work, it's quite impressive, all those sections. And so um, what is very important is that you have the options here to to take care of your OLED screen, your OLED, OLED panel. So I, my advice is just to leave them uh, on or what ASUS recommend, but you can control everything. Okay, also you have these extra options and so on. You have also the display refresh rate. You can control it manually or leave it to the system. So it's very helpful. You can control the trackpad and so on, the input keys, very helpful. So this is the ASUS options or the customization panel, but also you have an extra panel and let's visit that one. Besides the ASUS customization application, you have an extra application or panel or tab. So you see here that in the keyboard, you have a dedicated key to open this one. And here you, you can in, enter no extra options, so you can calibrate your color, okay? You have the control set, settings here is for the ASUS dial and so on. And this is just to, to ASUS if somebody is listening to this, you add the option for the cat people, some performance optimization and so on. So these are more specific and I want to, to show you here. So here I have it in performance mode. Let me change it here. And you can have here now your CPU load and so on. So you have many options there. You can play around with all that stuff. So you can see my system memory are graded to 64. Pretty much I have the maximum specification. It works perfectly. But let me go here full speed mode. Okay, and look at, at the fans. As I mentioned, you know what you're buying with this computer, so it's quite noisy. So this is when you go for the full workload, quite noisy. Now, so this is something that you're not going to have next to your bed, to your pillow, but yeah, you feel the noise there. Hopefully it's 5,800 RPM. So you saw that I stay here in performance modes, but if I know that I'm going to run something heavy, parallel computing, and I want to use all processor GPU, I switch it to, to full speed. And you can control that here, or you can you, you the fun part, you control it here, but also the other optimized performance options. You can go to Windows, you no, know, and Windows, you can control that. You have more options here and so on. So this is, this is it all when it comes to the extra applications. And now let's move to the interesting part, which is that bloody processor. Okay, so let's talk about now the processor, okay? So you have it here on the screen, and yes, you are reading it right with this processor that you are packing in this computer, which already gave my review. It's an excellent computer, but my main problem was with this processor and it's not only asus any computer that you're going to to get this this processor you're going to to get the same problem okay and this was the reason why i almost return this computer so i have a, i will prepare a longer video talking about this because i think many people will be interested but yes you you can pack here up to 32 processors so this new architecture the hybrid ar architecture what you have here is eight performance cores, the cores those that that have a high clock speed, and then you have the efficiency ones, okay, 16 efficiency ones. So you can search a little bit more in the internet. Okay, so here you have the link to show you something that what is very interesting that you're either packing that, but the thing that I was curious and I was doing my due diligence when I was buying this computer and this, looking for a computer with, with this processor to know how everything it, it, it is orchestrated in the computer. So Intel have something called Intel Threat Director. So this is a small application, which is only, by the way, for the time of this recording, it is only in Windows, you don't have it in Linux. So in Linux, you are going to have some problems. I don't know how the kernel will work. And I, I haven't done extensive benchmarking. I'm working in, in, in Windows, which by the way, I will show you an application that I am using Linux and using actually Windows existing Linux and also being where to virtualize my Linux and doing my benchmarking there. But I don't know how things work in a native Linux installation. But 
just to mention that everything is orchestrate, orchestrated using the Intel Thread Director, very well integrated with Windows. But all the applications, let's say productivity, everything works fine. But I have a few applications, few specific uh, workloads, stuff like machine learning, numerical simulation, solar Linux systems that they are not that well integrated into this uh, Windows ecosystem. You need to compile it and so on. So. I knew where, where I was getting, but I, I didn't have idea of that benchmarking. Okay. So let me show you the problem and the, uh, and the reason why I almost returned it. So it doesn't matter what I'm running here. So this is going to crush, crunch some numbers. So let me run the application. Look at that. I'm running VMware Linux. Okay. And since we get very weird here, so I will launch this process. It is in parallel. I precisely know how long it will take the timings and everything. So for me, for the benchmarking I have, is it was something that should last about five seconds or four seconds. And it was taking 20 seconds. That was incredible. And just to show you now, this will run for a very long time. Here I already opened the task manager. Okay. And see that what is happening here is that I'm running and I already know of all these scores of this graphic that you see here. I know which one are the, the, the performance and which one are the efficiency. So oh, you can check that using this nice utility. And here you have all the clubs. You see that the processor from zero to, 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 to seven are performance and everything. It is efficiency. Okay. The rest. So the exactly same you see here, these two rows should be because you have the threats should be performance and this rows here is sufficient. And here clearly I, I can see that whatever I'm doing is running in my efficiency course. That's why my task is really super slow. So here you see something that is running in the performer, but probably the utility and using recording and running some, running some other processes background. So this was killing me. Okay. And I was almost, okay, I have to return this. I will get a normal computer and an AMD or an Intel without this hybrid architecture. Okay. So I was testing a lot and this is now my 90, 90 days review. I found the solution. I still have problems, but let's say that 95% of my applications, even those strange workloads, they, they do run now perfectly. There is a 5%, even more strange things that I'm doing that have problems, but Okay, I think I can get there. I have to point out that also by September, this is the end of September uh, 23, uh, there was a, a new release a day, a big day of Windows, and that also improved many things a lot. Okay, so there were some issues that I, I, I'm not able to, to reproduce anymore. Okay, they, they fix many things with this hybrid architecture. I guess many people was complaining. And as you look, you will see a lot of complaint, but just to show you what you do, you do is you get in, into this problem. How you, how can you speed up things or, or start to use your, your performance core? So there are many solutions and there is my new, the other video that I will allow to show you that, but there is the most radical one that people disable those efficiency cores in, in the bios which I think you're throwing away your money or there are some other uh, solutions. Okay. So let me tell you right away, which one is the best one is run your process as a system administrator. Okay. So as you go here, right click, whatever process run as an administrator, and that will give you the highest pri priority and it's going to use all the performance, but not all the time. There are very specific applications. As I say, I have that 5% that sometimes where stuff like you minimize the window boom, you move to efficiency and so on. Okay. But the productivity stuff, all that stuff works perfectly is those specific workloads. So just to show you in this specific case, I'm not running a, as an administrator. Okay. But you can do, you have here and you can come here. Okay. Already the details and looking for VMware. And I need to look for this one, BMX and just need to increase the priority. So this is how this Intel, I guess, Intel Threat Directory is working. I wish no Intel or Windows that add some utility to control that because there might be many users having this in problem. And yeah, you can do it here in the task manager, but probably having something easier to use or not hidden like this. So let me change to high 
priority and you have to be careful now because sometimes you change something to high priority and might enter in conflict with your operating system so far i haven't had that problem but i know some people from intel i, I wrote to them they tell they told me okay be careful that might happen something weird so now i change okay let me check confirm that i have okay high priority and if i go here now you're going to see that all these traps deficiency and probably you are listening to the fan there you can hear the fan Okay, it's kicking in because now everything changed to that performance, uh, to the performance course. Okay, so now you see that all the workload that I was having, my efficiency, okay, we, they do have a very low clock speed. Now everything moved to the performance. And this was, as I say, this was killing me. The reason I, why I almost returned this computer. Now I'm quite happy, okay, for all my tasks. I know how to control everything. I still have some picky tasks, but just to show you something even more weird. So we have everything running in the performance. And if I minimize these windows within VMware, then the priority of that processor is going to change and it's going to move automatically to efficiency. So see here that the performance, now the world level, okay, is moving from here to here. And I just minimizing the windows. The, the, that window in the terminal, I was minify, minimizing that into the VMware machine. That exactly the same stuff can happen in Windows. But as I say, in the latest uh, update in September, they improve a lot this. So I'm not able to reproduce any more some of the problems that I was having when minimizing, but it's still some other application. If you minimize, it will go to background, lower priority, and then the clock speed will be lower. So it's small details that I have to track a lot, but yeah. So if I maximize again here, you will need to play again here. Okay. Increasing the priority. Okay. It doesn't uh, do that automatically. So you move it high priority and here we can change priority and you can check your monitors here. Okay. So this was killing me. So now I hope you have the solution. So one of the solutions, the first one that I was doing was, was this one, no, but every single process, and there are some processes that you don't know the name, you need to change priority, then minimize windows. If you have that problem. So that is one solution. There are many solutions. Okay. There are some crazy solutions. Okay. Besides that one, disable disabling the, the, the efficiency course in the BIOS. Okay, so there are many solutions, but the best one I have to say, when you run your tasks and you know that you need for that specific task, okay, you know, you, you need the performance, for instance, being where I can open again, I'm not going to do it, just believe me, run as administrator and the problem is solved, okay? And to show you also, as I mentioned, that I do a lot of stuff in, in Linux, okay? But now you have Windows existing Linux and you will have the same problem there, okay? So now here, the beauty, okay, just to point out, okay, as you see, this this can be a very long video. So I have been where I just allocated six cores, okay? But then in, you have it in Windows existing Linux, you see everything so that you have your 32 course there with the hyper treated and everything and exactly the same problems that you would saw in, in with VMware, you're going to have it here. Okay. So I can run my application. So in this case, these are the improvements that, that we have. Okay. And if I launch here, okay. It is running everything in the performance core. So it's quite fast, but I want it. I know that this, as I mentioned, you now this apl a specific application, you have to take like four or five seconds. So there you go, you have it. But if you minimize this window while running, then it's going to go to background or it used to go to background now. Okay. Since that last update is not going into background, but you have to be careful. You need to, to still monitor your application. Okay. So I think, okay, this is now the end for my, my, my review here and talking about this processor. I can rant a lot about this processor. Now it gave me a lot of problems, but it's a good processor. Okay. So let's end this review. So I would like to end with this image with, from, from Microsoft being much greater. So what we have here is a monkey Pokemon with a cowboy hat some base in winter. So as you see, it the a uh, really good work, work. or maybe th this probably have you thinking and probably you, we have also the weightlifting snowman that also have you thinking. So you might be wondering where I'm going 
So this cell is just think about about it, okay? Think about the computer. If you want to buy it, look at your specifications. Is there is they add that to what you want to do? Think about the issue with the processor. That for me was the, the biggest issue. Think about all the specifications, everything that you are packing there. Because it's a little bit expensive system, but honestly, if you have the money, I think it's worth the money. I think among all the other computers that we compare with at the beginning now, it was a small comparison, by the way. I think it's the best one. So with this, I think uh, it's a perfect system. I think I don't with this video. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Okay, I hope you enjoy it. And I really look into do another one. I, I know that this is a little bit strange for my channel, but I hope to do another one. I'm looking to uh, looking forward that that computer design system was a 3D screen. I really want to to test it. And well, don't forget to subscribe and to follow us. Thank you and bye.